Hey, it's Scotty. Hello, it's Sabian. We're from Alpha Wolf. You're listening and watching and viewing Rock Zone. Na kus řeči s Frankem. Na zdar bando, zdraví vás Frank z Rockzone 159 a vítám vás u dalšího dílu pořadu Na kus řeči s Frankem. Dneska moje pozvání přijali kytaristi kapele Alpha Wolf, Scotty a Sabian. No a my se ještě před tím rozhodujeme, pojďme podívat na to, jaký byly tady na festivalu Rock for People. Sabin Lynch and Scotty Simpson. Hello. Hello. What's up? Hello. How are you guys doing? All good? Great. Great now. <laughs> yeah, we just played a great show. Yeah. And that was just a thing that I was going to ask you. It's the first show of this European tour. And the Czech audience, not only the Czech audience, but the audience of this festival was blessed with your set. And tell me your honest reaction for a set. Honest. Honest? It was incredible. Like more okay. than we ever could have asked for. This, the setup of this festival is amazing. I feel like the clashes of bands are at a minimal. So you got main stage over there, our stage here, but you don't have two bands playing at the same time. Yep. So you go watch that band, yep. and then like we had 10 minutes before we played, and we just seen the entire crowd coming over to our set. And that I think is a perfect scenario. No clashes. You don't have to fight between who you get to watch and the set itself. Incredible. First show, like, we That's can't cool. ask for more. It was our first European festival ever today. But what are you? Besides, we were playing in Paracon Festival, I guess you can count that. First outdoor. First outdoor. What's the technical term for outdoor? Is that not, is that not what you call I it? I swear there's a term for it. Uh, Speaking of Czech festivals, uh, you are playing once more here in Czech on yes. a festival called Fight Fest. Yes. yes, yes. Later this year in July, I think it is. Next month. Yeah, next yeah. month. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next yeah. Cool, month. cool, cool, cool. So anyone who missed Alpha Wolf here uh, on Rock for People can watch them come back fight fast. Yeah, <laughs> it's our first time playing outside of Prague. We've if... never not played Prague at Czech. Yeah, Republic. so we yeah. love we love Czech. We love Prague, and I don't know how to say the city name we're in right now. Radec Králové. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I am not going to try I'm and say gonna... that. <laughs> okay, never okay, gonna... okay. Hold up, hold up. You're from Tasmania, and you can't say Hradec Králové. <laughs> You know how the fucking dialect of this oh, media sounds. Oh, okay, okay, so what was I saying? Let me try and read it out. I've got my notes app with where we're playing. <laughs> Let me try and... So I've been saying Pradek Kralavi. Close. Close. But the C at the end is not K. So it's... your city name has two names. Like one, two. Mm. Or is it one <laughs> well, word? Well, it's like... Uh, uh, what's, a, what's a city in... Oh, for example, New York. Oh, right, right. So it's right. Hradec Kralova. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Just but, not for but, us. But the, so the, say it once more for me. The, the C letter is not K, but it's C actually. So it's Hradec. Like, like a, you know, snare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're like beatboxing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, we have to stop for a moment um, at your latest album, Half Living Things, which was released uh, uh, on 5th of April this year. And uh, you already supported this album throughout North America where you are coming back later this year. And now on the European festivals, then you are coming back to Australia, your homeland, then again, United States. And isn't it kind of exhausting? You are like touring no. constantly. I no, mean, no we problem. love it. We love it, dude. Like, it's just like this, it's where we're at right now. Like we're in the grind stage of being a band. Like we, we love touring. So like, we don't mind touring this much. And you know, when you put out a new album, you have to play shows. So it's like, We love playing the US, we love playing Australia, we love playing in Europe, so it's just, you know, once a new album comes out, you just start doing, you know, it's like a reset, you start just, you know, hitting all the markets again, it's great. Like, But to disagree with you, part of it does get exhausting, so um, after the US tour we just done, so we just headlined USA for the first time, yeah. touring the album, we got to go home for 10 days, and I got so settled at home, 
but then today proved that we'd love to do it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We come here and we're just like, all right, this was... I was so cosy at home with my partner, my cats, <laughs> my games. It is a long flight from Australia to get here. Yeah. But today's show and today's response, I'll keep doing this for the rest of my life. Like, it will keep better. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the more you will play, it will keep much better. So, and my first impression, like seeing you today was, yeah, as so I'm used to see Alpha Wolf on much smaller stages. Yeah. So this was kind of like, not weird, but it was something different. But we saw the stage today and we're like, oh my god. That is so big. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but the catwalk and everything, like we've never done a catwalk in our lives. Never. I saw you that you bumped into Gucci like at the front of the catwalk, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you were like, like, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it felt, I don't know how to explain the feeling of a catwalk, but it feels so intrusive in some sense. Like it looks cool uh -huh. for anyone watching, but like walking up there by yourself, it's crazy. <laughs> well, you are used like bigger stages from the previous tour with Motionless and White, right? Yeah. yeah. You toured the, with them uh, in North America. And those were some some stadiums or like larger halls. Yeah, very. Like, yeah. They are the biggest venues we've ever played uh -huh. ever. Yeah. Okay. Today, I mean, today might have topped that. We're still a yeah. baby festival band, so like Australia doesn't get that many festivals. Mm. And if you play one one year, you get ruled out for next year. Okay. So you get to play maybe once every two years for a festival in Australia, and we get to do Not Fest last year. Yeah. And yeah. they they were awesome. They were crazy. So that ruled us out for. Yeah, like, <laughs> you, you, you don't get to do them that often, so like, anytime you rock, you pull up to a place like today, you see the stage for the first time, and you're like, oh my god, like our cables aren't long enough for these stages. <laughs> We're not prepared for this. We had trouble, like, we, we put up our biggest banner today, it wasn't big enough. <laughs> our cables that we thought were the longest cables ever aren't long enough. Like, we aren't prepared. Start learning shit pretty yeah, quick. We aren't prepared for a stage this big. Or a catwalk, for that matter. Anyway, speaking of the exhaustion that I was asking uh, previously, uh, what I was meant to say was that on this festival, Bad Omens, the band Bad Omens, was supposed to play here. But they quit all the shows for the summer because of the exhaustion. Yeah. And they basically burned out, like, from the playing all these shows and stuff, you know. And when I saw your rooster, all the shows that I was like, yeah, uh, this is kind of like, I'm afraid that this will come to you eventually. I so. definitely understand, like, it's not easy. Like, mm. it's it's a slog, man. Like, we do, like, over 100 shows a year. We've done that three years in a row now. Okay. So, I mean, it is it is a slog, and it, you do get tired. It gets hard. You miss home. You miss your family. But that's just kind of the life, you know? Like, if you want to succeed, you got you to gotta do the work. That's, that's, kind of, that's kind of the bottom line. Yeah, yeah so. leaving my house in the taxi to the airport, I was kind of like, oh. yeah. but then <laughs> playing today, you're like, all right, you can get some fun. The exhaustion is worth it when you play a really, really good show. Ah. And that's, I mean, that's all it's about. You get 45 minutes a day, dude. And like, you know, the travel is hard, you know, there's nine of us in a small van that we, we're traveling in for a month and, you know, it's not the easiest thing, but then you play a great show and it's all worth it. Like that's all that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's right. Uh, anyways, speaking of your new album, which I was like uh, mentioning before, the whole Fleming Things, you have one really cool featuring over there with <laughs> Ice T. We do. The mighty Ice T from Buddy Count, which are playing here also on this festival. Yeah. I think it's tomorrow. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. So, how did this come up? Okay. Whose idea was this? Side note, we got so excited at this entire lineup for the festival. Uh -huh. We saw Body Count, we saw Bring Me the Horizon, we saw Avril Lavigne, and we're like, oh my god! <laughs> then we saw the timetable. I'm very excited that we get the Prodigy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And excited again for POD, because they're replacing Bad Omens. But um, yeah, so Ice T. That was a Hail Mary moment. We said it as a joke. <laughs> okay. It was, I mean, like, a serious joke of being like, we have this thing where we don't want to just get, you know, a feature anybody can get. It's like, if we're getting a feature, we want it to be someone unique, special, something that, like, someone will see and be like, how the fuck did they do that? Uh, yeah. And that was, we, we, we literally just said, hey, we should try and get IC, and our manager said, I know his manager, we can start a conversation. You know, it was a lot of back and forth, but um, it was literally, yeah, Hail Mary. We just, we threw the name out there, and then it happened. 
That's, yeah. that's literally. Our manager yeah. hit us up and she was like, I think he said yes. <laughs> well, she, like, she, she was freaking out. Yeah, yeah, we're like, nah, that's not true. And then I think he's going into the studio this weekend. We're like, nah, no, he's not, no, he's not, no, he's not. Hey, here's the track. Oh! <laughs> yeah. And okay. then our label said he needs to be in the video. Whatever it takes, you are to film the video with him. And we're like, that's not going to happen. He's then too busy. He's too busy. And then it happened, and he rocked up on set and said, "Hey, it's the Alpha Wolves." <laughs> and we're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, like legendary, legendary. He was a great guy. He was really friendly. He was really down to earth. Like, yeah, just a, just a great hack. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he was genuinely like, it seems like genuinely like for for someone who's done so much in his fucking life, like to be so humble and he was thanking us that we wanted him on the song. We're like, dude, thank you for doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've seen his post this so, week, and he's so thankful that people are showing up to watch Body Count again, and he's just such a nice guy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, okay, that was for the album, and I want to ask you, Sabian, what city was that? Atlanta or Richmond, I suppose. How's your knee? Bad. My knee is <laughs> fucked. Sorry. Um, so I had 10 days off at home. I didn't want to go into the American healthcare system because I've heard terrible things. <laughs> so I waited until I got home to figure out what was wrong. I saw a doctor, I had to get an MRI scan, went back to my doctor. He said, it's not good. And um, apparently I need surgery. Like, I can walk. Oh, he needs a knee reconstruction, basically. Yeah. I can walk, I can live day to day, but I can't do what I used to do. Yeah. Today performing, I tried really hard to perform, do what I like to do, and I think it was halfway through, I done one headbang, just a headbang, like mm -hmm. just using my neck and body, and my knee felt like it popped sideways, and I was in excruciating pain for a full song, Jeez. I wanted to sit down, sit the song out. It went away. I iced it up thanks to our team. He found me some ice. I'm wearing a knee brace 24-7, and I'm probably going to need surgery if I want to be able to get back to what I like doing, which is... You need surgery to live, bro. You need a surgery. Yeah, it, it's... Christ. Unfortunately, it's not good. And that's aging for you, I guess. Like, it was a jump that I've done a thousand times before. Mm. Um, and it went horribly wrong. It's it's like an injury you see all the athletes get, and unfortunately, I'm dealing with that now. And I'm super fucking bummed because I want to be able to give my all, give energy back to the crowd, but I can't. Like it hurts to stand up if I'm standing the wrong way. I can't bend my knee properly. It was bad to laugh, but it's just funny. <laughs> I, I try to laugh, but when the doctor told me I need surgery in like six to 12 months for rehabilitation, I'm definitely it's wrong. It was serious. Yeah. Now this may sound a little bit weird, but, and you haven't done it today, but isn't this thing with these inflatable balloons a little bit expensive? Because why I'm asking, why I'm asking, uh, I saw some of your shows and also from YouTube and stuff, when these balloons came off, is there someone who is sticking them back or are fans leaving them for themselves? Because they're there freebies and I've told so many bands this and so many people, it's the cheapest production you can do. So we don't do the CO2 cannons, we don't do the fire, yeah. the balloons, the beach balls, they're so cheap. Really? And it's like a very fun experience. We don't have them this tour because they're all printed in America. But um, it's like the cheapest and funnest production you can spend money on that isn't fire or CO2. We just have our friends walk on stage and throw beach balls out for our last song and our fans get to keep them. And yeah, it's literally the cheapest production you can do. Okay, fine, cool. I was thinking that it's expensive, but it isn't eventually. Not at so, all, not at all. Okay. Like it does cost us. We, we but, pay for them, but yeah. it's, it's just a bit of fun. But when, every is. time you see a band do fire or the CO2 cannons, like the um, the white smoke stuff, that costs a lot of money. Okay, yeah. So for us to do beach balls once every show, like 10 to 15 beach balls a show, it's quite cheap compared to fire. Okay, okay. Now, guys, since you are a little off from America, tell me what happened between you and Amur. <laughs> oh, so like... We love Amua. Our band started from wanting to be like Amua. 
and it's a hard one because like we don't believe Frankie should be as mad as he is he probably has the right to be as mad as he is but we still love the band we love every member of the band currently and it was just one of those things where I think he got miscommunication he missed our tour photo that we took and they're such an iconic band to us he's such an iconic member of the band we were sad that he wasn't there even more sad to see what he said on Twitter so we didn't need to feed into it we said okay Frankie we love him you up thanks for the tour let's move on no bad blood there it is what it is uh, okay all good all good so uh, one last question for you and that's uh, is there for you any up and coming band one up and coming band which should des or that deserves a shout out or some kind of recognition some favorite band of yours Unity TX Unity TX and Chamber 100% both the other bands on our US headliner uh, Unity were just for me one of the funnest bands to get to watch the energy they have their songs how they act on stage is just like they were, they were so fun to watch and they're just really good guys and yeah shout out Unity they were we haven't done. seen either Chamber or Unity TX before when we put them on our tour and then the energy they brought to our tour was incredible and infectious so we'd love to take them across the world to both those bands listen to them stream them go see them when they're in your town they're okay. incredible okay all good that's about that thank you so much guys for your time thank, thank you. you so much appreciate it be sure to listen to alpha ball check them all over the social media go to their shows by their merch and be sure also to click some like buttons over here on the video like comment this video subscribe, share it subscribe share. to our channel you know Alpha the drill. Code 2024 rock for people <laughs> czech republic see you unity tx chamber nashville <laughs> Thank you so much guys, I will see you at uh, the next video, until then take care and bye bye.